Hello and welcome. People have been talking about Julango on various social media platforms. This is because what he said in his interview about Rila went viral online. According to the source, Julango said that he would have gone to State House, even if Rila had told him not to. Kenyans say this is disrespectful to Rila. Now, the news that Julango said he was going to go to the State House even if Rila stopped him has gone viral on various social media platforms, causing a mix of cute reactions. Many people are out to say that Jalango has begun to lose faith in Rila Odinga, and others are out to ask if Rila has also seen this statement from Jalango. On Wednesday, February 8, Treasury Cabinet Secretary Njugun Ndungu disclosed that he is one of the Hustler Fund beneficiaries. Prof. Ndungu also said that he had been borrowing every week since President William Ruto started the kitty on November 30, 2022. While urging Kenyans to borrow money and pay it back, the CS mentioned that he was borrowing money to raise his credit score. The CS revealed, I borrow every week from the Hustler Fund because I want to make sure that when a credit score is calculated, I am part of the game and can enjoy a higher limit. We will now ensure that the hustlers receive higher loan allocations once we calculate credit scores he added. Kenyans were informed by Ndungu that Hustler Fund was an intervention intended to regulate the financial market. The CS revealed that the fund was only in its initial phase, and that three additional phases aimed at various borrowers had not yet been launched. You can already see the successes of the fund, and we are just in the first phase he praised the president's initiative. Ndungu revealed that Kenyans had borrowed money and paid it back more than 300 times since the fund's inception. He stated, the funds will always be available to people at the bottom of the pyramid, it is the people to scale up, not the loan, as an explanation for why it exemplifies the bottom-up agenda. The limit would be raised at the end of February, Ruto assured Kenyans on February 3. Every borrower will be given a financial grade by the end of the month. The president made the announcement at the time, those with good grades will enjoy a higher limit. Hustler Fund Microcredit, a brand new product, was also announced by the president. The Hustler Fund Microcredit will enable SACOs and groups to borrow on behalf of their members by the end of the month, in contrast to the Hustler Loan, which is distributed to individuals. It is possible to interpret President William Ruto's Purge of Jubilee as a political declaration of war against his predecessor, Yuhiro Kenyatta. Jeremiah Keone, the Secretary General of Jubilee, argued that Ruto's meeting with over 30 Jubilee MPs on Wednesday, February 8, at the State House, was anticipated. Keone, who spoke with Kenyans.co.ke, said that Uhura's resolve was working with those who were willing to move forward. He said that the former president had always said that, no matter what, people who were willing to move with the party gained strength. Additionally, Keone argued that a party's powers came from its members rather than its representatives. President Uhuru Kenyatta is aware of the happenings and has a thorough understanding of the country's political dynamics. He has been in charge of this country for some time, and he has always maintained that you move with those who are willing to move in politics. He asserted, you are as strong as those outside supporting you. This is not the first time that the ruling alliance, Kenyu Kwanzaa, has targeted Uhuru out of vengeance. Ruto and his troops recently attacked the Kenyatta family, claiming that it had avoided paying taxes since the time of the late President Jomo Kenyatta. Mom and Gina Kenyatta, the family's patriarch, was forced to dare the government to seize her properties by the allegations. However, Uhura's response to these individual attacks on himself and his family would take longer. But when he did, it implied that the witch hunt was just idle talk. Javis Bigambo, a political and governance expert, told Kenyans.co.ke that Ruto had a deliberate and strategic plan to bring about a change in Azimio's political climate. Instead of attempting to demonstrate rivalry through rallies, Ruto is engaging in a mind game involving numbers and dulling Rila. Bigambo also made the observation that Ruto's action aimed to control the legislature. Without being bothered by Rila, Ruto may be hoping to pass the legislature more easily. Additionally, if it is at all possible, Ruto may be considering having some elected officials from Azimio run for re-election on platforms or parties affiliated with Kenya Kwanzaa. Most importantly, all of these are meant to confuse Rila, who is currently at odds with the president. Bigambo went on to say that Ruto's action demonstrated that he could crush Azimio and control its powers in a variety of ways. Ruto appears determined to destroy the party that removed him from its leadership in February 2022 so it remains to be seen whether Uhura will step in to restore order. Hope you enjoy the video.